everybody. I'm so excited to be here tonight. So what if I was to say, what comes to mind when I say moving away from home for the first time? Maybe college or getting a job, financially stable probably. Well, that's not what happened for me. Um, a little backstory, about a year ago, I decided for some reason, no reason actually, to move to Los Angeles with my best friend. Um, we were just hanging out one day and I was like, you know what, I really want to go to California. I think that would be really cool, we should go live there. And at first my friend was like, oh my god, you've reached an entirely new level of insane, but eventually, uh, eventually they changed their mind and we decided to go live out there. And uh, my plan was to basically go to like Bucks in Los Angeles, which is called Santa Monica College. Um, I ended up doing that. And my friend's plan was to work some sort of job. Um, so it was, it was an adventure, because instead of just leaving home and getting like an apartment nearby, we decided to go 2,100 miles away. So we were really on our own after that. Um, and we weren't ready for it. And it was really hard, but it taught us a lot. Uh, moving away to Los Angeles taught me, first of all, maturity, second, responsibility, and third, accountability for my own actions. So first, I'm gonna tell you how it taught me to be responsible. Um, before I had moved out, I didn't really take care of a lot of things on my own. My parents would help me out a lot. I had very nice parents. Um, they didn't really make me take responsibility for things very much. So um, we had to start doing things like our own grocery shopping, our own laundry, which sounds like no big deal, right? But when you're trying to balance everything at once, homework, school, for a while, we just like we just wouldn't. We would just like run out of food and be like, "All right, I guess we're going to Carl's Jr. again." And um, you know that started to catch up with us too. So that was a big adjustment, having to start taking care of things all by myself. Well, all by ourselves. Um, also, money. It's pretty hard to manage money, and I learned that the hard way. Because every time we would get money, we would just blow it on something completely unnecessary, like um, going out to eat instead of going to the grocery store. And that used up a lot of money. And so for a lot of times we would be really broke and that, that was really hard. But uh, after a while we learned that you have to kind of take what you have and use it more responsibly than just whatever you want. In addition to being responsible, it also taught me to mature because I had basically never worked a full-time job before I was going to college. I still didn't work in Los Angeles. I, I had an allowance, so I was like basically on my own, but I got allowance. It wasn't a lot. Um, but before, I, I would like, you know, stay up really late and then my parents would come in my room in the morning and be like, you need to get up and go to school in Los Angeles. That didn't happen. So if I felt like sleeping, I would probably just sleep and skip class, which is not the mature thing to do. And after a while, I saw my grades like going lower and lower. Same with like homework. Nobody was there to be like, are you doing your homework? I just wouldn't do it, not turn things in. So my grades got lowered a lot. Um, I basically, for a while in the beginning, was doing just whatever I felt like, staying up till like 3.30 and sleeping till noon, which is also not the mature thing to do. Um, also, accountability for my own actions. Um, so first, before we went there, we actually got into a car accident um, we were planning, yeah, we were planning to drive all the way from Pennsylvania to Los Angeles. It was gonna be this really big adventure because there's a lot to see. Like, I really wanted to see like the like the Midwest kind of because before this, I had never been off the East Coast. Um, it was actually my friend driving, and it was a rainstorm, like a flash flood, really heavy rain. Like you couldn't see two feet in front of you, and 
my friend was speeding, like really speeding. I was like, slow down, slow down. But of course they didn't listen. And we ended up um, like fishtailing is when you like spin around and we crashed on the side of the road. The car was completely totaled. Both my eardrums were popped. Yeah, everything sounded kind of like you were like talking through a tin can for a while. Um, they healed though, mostly. Um, and I had a concussion. And all of our stuff was in the car, of course. So that got rained on and mud all over it. And um, these two men in a truck saw the accident. Because there was like barely anyone on the road for some reason. And they pulled us out of the car. And we were OK. We went to the hospital, but the car was completely totaled. Um, normally, I would just feel like, but dad, but, but I need a new one. But dad, it was an accident. And you know, hopefully be able to nag my way into getting another one. But this time, he's like, oh no, you're not living in my house anymore. Uh, you're just going to have to take the bus. So that's what I ended up having to do. And that, that's like another speech for another day. My <laughs> adventures with Los Angeles public transportation. Um, but yeah, that, that was a challenge all in itself because I had 8 a.m. class and the bus. I don't know if anyone's been to Los Angeles, but the amount of people in that city is insane. So everything takes so much longer, so much traffic. Um, so I had to get up at like six, and of course I didn't want to. So you now had to be accountable for that. Um, also, when things really started to go south, uh, me and my friend, like we weren't allowed to rent the apartment anymore. Um, yeah. My, my friend um, had some self-detrimenting behaviors, so it was just me on my own after that. They were in the hospital, and that's when I had to be accountable for my actions and just say, I want to stay in Los Angeles, but it's not the smart thing to do, and I need to come home, which was really sad because I wanted to stay, and I love it there, and it's really beautiful. Um, So moving away from home was really hard a lot of times. I had a lot of fun. It wasn't all bad. Los Angeles, like I said, is a really beautiful city. I definitely want to move back there. Um, it taught me a lot, especially, like I said, maturity, responsibility, and accountability for my own actions. Um, it was really a struggle for a lot of it, but I have to remember that it was a lot more than um, microwaved ramen noodles and going to Starbucks to do my homework to steal the Wi-Fi. Um, and yeah, hopefully I will go back one day. <laughs>